Do you feel dead? I sure do. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Surviving Death is the brand new fascinating documentary series on Netflix. This is a series that will make you think whether you believe in what it's talking about or not. I love shows like these, so I need you guys down below letting me know where you're excited for this. And if you enjoy these Netflix reviews, be sure to drop a thumbs up and let's get into it. Series explores questions that have been contemplated throughout time. What does it mean to die, and is death the end of our existence? Weaving together innovative new research with first-hand accounts of those who have been close to death. And it's so weird that we got this show. So recently, I went on this YouTube rabbit hole where I watched a lot of very similar videos of individuals who have survived these near-death experiences and who have encountered uh, these crazy what we perceive as visions or NDE, what they call it in the show, near-death experiences. And this show gives them the opportunity to reach a wider audience, but it also tells you in the first episode, this is not, I mean, technically it's rare, but it's not as rare as you think. There are millions and millions of individuals who have different stories to tell, who have encountered essentially death, what it feels like to die, but exactly what they are experiencing doesn't necessarily line up with uh, what most perceive as everything comes to an end, because most of, if not all of the cases that we see in this show, goes a step beyond that, and to encounter someone who has actually been through it, in my opinion, is different than just kind of, well, you know, when you die, you die, and that's a logical conclusion, as it was for a lot of individuals in this series, prior to their experience, they felt that way until they started to uh, see and feel what they saw and felt as their life was coming to an end. Well, at least the first time around. And that's what this series was all about. At least in the first few episodes, we were able to dive into these experiences. And I like the fact that people weren't arguing on screen. It wasn't like, oh, religion this and uh, anti-religion that. It was more so just uh, the first-hand accounts of what they saw and the unexplainable uh, details that we can perceive as something that sounds made up on the surface. But you can feel the emotion in these individuals' responses. You can see that most of them are uh, telling as much of a truth as they could tell. And if you watch this show, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, we're constantly trying to disprove things like this. But they go into all of the details. And we do get professionals uh, going into these details of... Okay, well, a lot of the times it could be the drugs that triggers this response in their brain, but then they found that most of the time when they give them more drugs, the less they are likely to experience near-death experiences. Then it's just their brain at work as they're dying, but with the majority of the cases that we see in this show, their brains were essentially shut down through this entire process, so how is that? And you just, you sit back and you think about all of the crazy things we're talking about here, and it doesn't feel real. It just, it doesn't. And it's hard to explain that feeling that you get while watching something like this, whether you agree or disagree. But at least, whatever side we're on, this kind of opens up our eyes and our mind and allows us to think about whether it be the other side or maybe what we already believe in. And it's interesting. And I think that's what a good documentary, a documentary series is all about. Now, when you get into the technical side of things, it is a very familiar documentary. The way it's laid out, uh, we get these skits, sketches almost of the experiences that these individuals have with uh, camera movement and recreating. One in particular of an individual kayaking goes over a waterfall. It's a pretty nice recreation, but then the majority of the show is just B-roll and interviews. So uh, we've seen that before, but it all comes down to the content. I will say there were a few episodes that weren't as exciting as the ones that I responded to. The first few were great. Uh, we get one called Near Death Experiences, two episodes dealing with mediums, one called Signs from the Dead, one called Seeing Dead People, and then one, the final episode, dealing with reincarnation, which I found to be fascinating. And from a certain perspective, you can watch this and see how some things are a bit quirky, one instance in particular, you know, in the movies when the spirit kind of comes into the person and they'll, they'll change their voice to match the spirit. Well, 
We get actual individuals that do that. And I like the fact that they're showing every side of this, the believable and the unbelievable. And the docuseries doesn't necessarily seem biased. It's just kind of showing us people trying their best to find the truth, which is essentially what we're doing as an audience by watching this. But we're also fascinated by all of the stories and the tellings and the events that happen on screen. Um, so some of it wasn't the most believable thing, but at least from the outside looking in, we're getting a lot of honesty throughout this documentary, whether they are wrong or right. I like seeing honest accounts, and that was semi-refreshing in this docuseries. So at the end of the day, these questions, what does it mean to die? Is death the end of our existence? The, the show weaves together research, firsthand accounts, um, people that have been close to and experienced death, and I think that's really important, and it's interesting. Um, so this documentary does feature a familiar style, but the stories told will make you think whether you believe them or not. Again, if you guys like this video, let me know. Start a discussion down below. I think this is the perfect place for that. My score is a 70%. Again, a familiar documentary, but what we're dealing with here was really interesting, and this is one that I would recommend, especially if you want to um, experience, well, see some individuals who have experienced some crazy things. I appreciate you guys for watching. My next review will be Pieces of a Woman. I uh, can't wait to talk about that. Saw it a little while back. It's one of my favorite movies from last year. The movie drops on Netflix tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys. I'll see you soon.